a leader of the All Progressives Congress, APC, Aziwa Jubola Tinubu, says the declaration of June 12, by President Muhammadu Buhari as Democracy Day and the award of GCFR to late MKO Abiola serves as an acknowledgement that the latter won the 1993 election. The news agency of Nigeria, NAN, reports that Tinubu made the assertion in a message entitled The Immortalization of Chief MKO Abiola, on Thursday, June 6, in Lagos through his media officer, Tundraman. Tinubu said that the award of the GCFR was also an acknowledgement that Abiola should have been allowed to serve as president after winning the free and fair expression of the popular will of the people. Tinubu said that the declaration was a good news for democracy and a proud moment for Nigeria. According to him, Buhari's decision has corrected the wrongs of the past. Along with all democratic and fair-minded Nigerians, I welcome the news that June 12 will replace May 29 as Democracy Day. I too applaud Buhari for making this courageous and rightful decision. He has shown all Nigerians and the world that we have the moral fortitude to objectively face our history, learn from it and improve our society by virtue of this learning. June 12, more than any other day, symbolizes the struggles and sacrifices made by countless Nigerians to establish democracy as our way of national governance. Chief MKO Abiola and others gave their lives that we might have democracy, that the will of the people will be sovereign and not suppressed by the will of the few. This proclamation by Buhari will forever immortalize the sacrifices made by these patriots who gave off themselves in service of such a noble and rightful purpose, he said. Tinubu also commended the award to MKO Abiola's running mate, Ambrose Bubagani Kinib and Chief Ghani Fulahimi. The politician said that Chief Fulahimi was a fearless advocate for democracy and the human rights of the common man. According to him, whenever and wherever late Falahinmi speaks, it was the language of truth to power. Tinubu said that the designation of June 12 as Democracy Day was the fulfillment of the dream and efforts of many of the progressives. This fulfillment comes with a civic responsibility. We must consecrate this new holiday and ourselves so that we make it a living holiday more so than ever before. The spirit of June 12 must live within us. It must guide our politics and how we govern ourselves. We must continuously dedicate ourselves to the freedoms and rights as well as the duties that democracy bestows on us all, political friend and foe alike, he said. He stated further that the presidential proclamation should forever bear a ill-conceived notion that President Buhari was ambivalent, opposing, to democracy. According to him, President Buhari has shown that he not only respects democracy but duly honors it. Democracy may be rough and untidy at times but it remains the form of government best suited for a society as diverse and multifaceted as ours. Today, the sun shines a bit more brightly. The sound of democracy peals more resolutely across the land. The sacrifices of Chief Abiola and others who have been affirmed by the federal government he once should have led. Democracy has been given its proper seat. History has been corrected to the extent humanly possible. Nigeria continues to define its better self. Of this new Democracy Day and what it symbolizes, we all should be equally proud," he said.